Our business and economy editor Douglas Fraser reports. Methyl's fabrication yard was operated by Bifab until it went into administration in December, unable to secure the deal to fabricate eight wind turbine platforms after the Scottish Government, a part owner of the firm, withdrew its offer of a £30 million contract guarantee. It claimed it was no longer legal for a government to do so. Our business correspondent David Henderson is at the yard and joins us. IFAB struggled to win contracts uh, for these um, jackets um, and they end up, ended up going into administration uh, in December, you know, unable to secure a deal to fabricate eight wind turbine platforms. Um, it, it followed the Scottish Government, which of course was a part owner of the firm, withdrawing its offer of a £30 million contract guarantee. It had claimed it was no longer legal for the government to do so. Our business and economy editor, Douglas Fraser. Methyl's fabrication yard was operated by Bifab until it went into administration in December, unable to secure the deal to fabricate eight wind turbine platforms after the Scottish Government, a part owner of the firm, withdrew its offer of a £30 million contract guarantee. It claimed it was no longer legal for a government to do so. The former Bifab fabrication yard in Fife is to reopen to fill a wind turbine contract. Its operator has secured a contract that could create 290 jobs directly employed and in supplies with work starting in July. The Arnish yard on Lewis may also get some support work as well as sites in Belfast and Devon. The yard was owned by Bifab but that company went into administration last December after the Scottish Government withdrew a £30 million contract guarantee for the eight platforms claiming it was no longer legal to do so But the company went into administration just before Christmas after failing to secure a deal to build eight of those platforms. This was after the Scottish Government, which was a part owner of the site, had withdrawn its offer of a multi-million pound contract guarantee, with ministers claiming it was no longer legal for a government to do so.